What's up guys? It's a nice afternoon out today. Just thought that we would come out to the range and have a little fun. And I brought with me my Sig Sauer P226 Mark 25. This is the Navy SEAL edition. Uh, you can tell with the anchor on the side. This is a gun that I've had for a few years now and I absolutely love it. It's a classic firearm for those of you all who are familiar with this particular model. You know it's been carried by uh, Navy SEALs, U.S. Navy SEALs and uh, law enforcement for decades, literally going all the way back to the 80s. And I just wanted to come out today, it's a nice afternoon, and put a few rounds down range. So our first shot, since this is a double action, single action, I'm going to go ahead and hit that decocker. And our first shot will be in double action, and then of course the follow-up shots will be single action. So let's go and get started, shall we? Runs flawlessly every time. Okay guys, I just thought I'd bring you guys around for a different perspective. And we're just gonna keep hammering that steel, having a little bit of fun, enjoying the afternoon. That's what a lot of this is about, is uh, taking time, getting outside, and just enjoying our freedoms. Love it. Okay guys, before we lose all of our light, I wanted to take a few minutes to give you guys a close-up view of this particular gun. And since we have been shooting here at the range, I just want to show you there is nothing in the magazine as well as there's nothing in the chamber so we are safe this gun is one that is a classic i've wanted this gun going back several years uh, well before uh, i thought that i would ever own one you know i'd always looked at them in various shops and finally when i got the opportunity i had a friend of mine order this for me through his gun store a lot of fun to shoot this gun. Of course, it does have the Picatinny rail. It is the P226 Mark 25. Uh, you know, it does have all the uh, coated inter internals. Great gun. You know, SIG is known for some of the classic designs that they make, just the way that these guns look. Uh, you know, the U.S. military, the, they went with, uh, back in the 80s, of course, with the Beretta, the M9 but the navy seals and some other units wanted something else uh, they were not happy with the berettas and that's where the p226 came in to play you know that was a gun that many of those folks picked up instead uh, the gun is a single action or a double action single action and what that means is that first press of that trigger is going to actually be what cocks that hammer for the first shot and then all subsequent shots, it will be single action. Now, the one thing about this, that double action trigger on this gun, uh, if you have ever shot double action, single action pistols like this one, you'll know that some of those guns, that first press is very difficult. However, on this particular gun, it is one of the better triggers as far as the double action, single action trigger, that first press especially. It is a little bit longer, but you know, it does, it's not nowhere near as harsh as some other guns that I have had. Of course, it does have the SIG Glow Night Sights on this gun. Uh, they are dovetailed in which you know i'm not going to be changing this gun you could change those if you wanted to but for me i'm leaving this gun as it is uh, i typically don't do a lot of modifications to my guns i usually buy them the way that i like them great gun a lot of fun to shoot i just wanted to bring it out here and give you guys another view of it 
and talk about it and do a little shooting with it. Guys, it's just a quick video that I wanted to do. I thought I would bring you all along with me uh, just to come out to my range and do a little bit of shooting. And this is one of the benefits that we have in our country, being able to come out and enjoy our freedoms, our rights to own these things, and just come out and have a little fun with them. I mean, it is something that a lot of people paid a very high cost to achieve for us, to gain for us. Uh, there were huge sacrifices made even today to protect our rights to be able to own firearms, or our rights to free speech, that sort of thing. So I would just encourage you guys to take a minute to consider the rights that you have and consider what we see around in other parts of the world where folks are not as fortunate as we are and don't take those rights for granted. But guys, again, I just wanted to bring it out, have a little fun with it, do a little shooting, talk with you guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the Mark 25 from Six Hour down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you, especially any of you guys out there that have carried one of these in, uh, in part of your service. But guys, thanks for watching. Check out all the links down in the description, and we'll see you next time.